Hey, welcome again to another episode of Fishkeeping Jamaica Rally here. Okay, so today I'll be speaking on the topic of breeding your convict cichlids by the hundreds. Now, a lot of persons might say, but convict cichlids are one of the most easy, easiest bred um, aquarium fish that you can ever find. But uh, what a lot of persons don't really bear in mind is that convict cichlids, um, if kept, let's say, by themselves, it's uh, even if it, it, it's a pair by themselves what will happen is that convict cichlids after a while they will actually consume their fries another thing is that their tank mates because they are so much when they um you know when they actually lay the eggs and um the, the fries are swimming they are so much it's really really difficult for you to actually um control the, the the fries where they are swimming and as a result of that a lot of fries are actually consumed by tank mates which are most times um other cichlids or should i say uh, other convict cichlids and in in some cases even the parents might con um con consume um the fries because the the the, the, the female is engaged with, with with eggs and she wants to release them and she will not release them until um the tank is considered safe for new fries coming up so she will actually and, and the male also will actually gorge on um, on the fries okay so how do you actually um you know get that that amount of fish uh, within one go now a convict cichlid can actually lay between 60 and 80 eggs right it depends on the size and can even go to 100 all right so this is what i do uh this is my pond right my 250 gallon tote all right now i would actually look for the male and the female and then i would actually place the male and the female into a smaller container by themselves uh usually within about four weeks i will place them there and within four weeks i will get fries now, after I get the fries, what I'll do, I'll allow the fries to swim with the parent and for about, probably about three weeks. After the three weeks, I will actually remove the parent from that container and the fries alone will be in that container. I will actually lace that container with salt, which will prevent um, toads or frogs going in it because toads and frogs, they don't like water that is tainted with, with salt. So they will just stay away from it, just like what I did with the, the chromite cichlids, right? So... I will remove the, the the parent and i will find a new uh container and place the parent in that's if i want another set of um of fries and i will continue the process and within four weeks again i will get um some fries swimming and within another three weeks i will probably remove them again so if i want a hundred uh convict secret fries it depends on the size i will actually do this twice and within let's say about roughly about uh, about three four months they will reach to this size that you're seeing now and eventually after about probably about six to seven months i can actually sell them to the pet shop and i will get my monies for my my job that has already been done okay uh these are one of the easiest cichlids to breed yes but at the same time timing is important if you fail to uh keep abreast keep check with um what is happening within the system you'll find that you'll have the fries but the fries won't come to fruition and you'll actually lose the income that will actually be generated um with these fries now there is a similar process with the the jack Dempsey's, but the jack Dempsey's, the larger they get um the more space they need right so the larger they get you'll find that the the the, the, the whole spawning situation will change now i have some that i have actually been taking care of especially to breed them uh they're about two inches uh they start breeding about probably about four and a half inches as soon as that uh that time do come i will actually um start the similar process right uh thank you very much for watching have an awesome day it's rally here peace check you next time